Hello guys and welcome to this new video and as promised this is the review video of the Cyanogen 1 12.1 latest build. Now it launched yesterday from a relatively unknown developer okay so he in his own words is a bit unexperienced he just learned it but he did a pretty good job in updating this build. A new might build another new might build might be coming up in the recent future so don't forget to subscribe for news about that okay so i didn't test out the battery as of yet okay i have been using it for the last 10 to 12 hours and there has been some battery drain right now okay it's not completely gone but it's relatively improved so for a detailed coverage of the how the battery life is with this update or build number please join the facebook page from the link down below in the description if you haven't yet and i'll post all the detailed battery updates when i'm done testing so let's talk about what's improved and what's still not there and what's still not fixed so the first thing that got fixed is of course the video playback which was a big issue okay so it works everywhere on instagram and even on youtube there are no stutters or video lags okay so i'll just quickly make it play okay always And as you can see it plays quite smoothly there are no black screens or there are no stutters and stuff like that so that is definitely fixed so that was a very good update as I really needed it I watch a lot of videos on my device and the video playback issue was really important for me the next thing that you can see has improved will be the double tap to wake However, I did experience some random screen freezes. So the phone did not hang, but the screen just stopped responding. And I guess that's mainly because of the double tap to wake feature, which now I have closed up. Okay, so I have no switch it off, but if you do switch it on and then just double tap on the screen, it will turn on. But it was giving me random screen freezes, so I kept it off. If it did work for you without giving you screen freezes, please let me know in the comments below. So the next thing that improved is now you have OTG support, which I cannot show you in this video because I do not have an OTG device right now. Okay. So the next thing that's improved in this uh, ROM is definitely the speed and the whole user experience. So it's much smoother than the previous ROM and you have a new set of apps. However, the first time you install this ROM, you might head over into certain errors like the uh, no storage full notification, which is again back from the Trin Tan Who's build. Okay, so there are two ways to solve this. One, you can just drag and drop and check out the notification, tap and hold on it, and just tap the bell and the slash icon to hide the notification forever. Also, you can update the build.prop file. So there's a file in the description below. Okay, it's already linked. All the download links are, of course, present in the blog post that is linked below. Okay, so you need to download the uh, Sorry, uh, you need to download the build.prop file and you have to place it in the system folder and replace it along with proper root rights. So that will fix both the Google Play sync issues and also the storage notification icon or notification will be gone forever. So that fixes two things. So you have to do that manually and the instructions for that will also be down in the blog post below. So the next thing that is fixed here in this build is of course the root permissions before you had to root it of course and the my video on rooting lollipop stock rom also worked for the cm12 however in this this build of course you have the root permissions fixed so you can just head over into developer options okay and go to root access and select ad apps and adb now you have to download super su you know because it's better and if you even if you do not update or install super su you can just directly go and get root access in all of your roots and apps and ADB. Of course, the theme support work better now. A lot more themes work. Okay, so again, I don't like custom themes. I like the stock vanilla experience. So if you have installed any more custom themes, please let me know. According to the developer, it's definitely fixed. I did try it out, a TouchWiz theme, and it did work. But then I had to reflash the whole thing again, so it's not there right now. So that's pretty much it from this ROM. It's much more stable. Lots of issues from the previous build is fixed. However, uh, the certain stuff like you know the SD card issues and the headphone bug, like when you put in the headphone and play music from the music player, it sometimes doesn't show. Sometimes doesn't 
give you any output sound so there those bugs are still there okay and the developer says that he doesn't know of any fix of right now so maybe the next build will fix it however if those are two aren't such issues for you and double tap to wake installing custom themes and having a much more stable user interface is more important to you definitely this is the build you can opt for both sim cards work as you can see and i am on an a501 cg and the developer says that he tested this out only on a501 cg so this should work on a500 cg too just follow the normal installation methods you just have to flash two files okay for installing this even if you're installing this for the first time and the link for all of that will be down in the description below there are two installers one is the normal image file downloads and there's an auto installer i'll prefer you do the manual method because it's much safer and it gives you a cleaner install also this will remove all your user data and cache data so do back up all your data before you proceed with the steps again thank you guys for watching we almost reached 1000 subscribers and thank you to all the thousands of you who joined the page don't forget to join the facebook page it helps the channel and it will also help you where you can join all the discussions if this video helped you don't forget to share it with all the facebook groups where Zenfone people are involved. It might help a lot of them. And again, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.